Arcade Show in uh, Wayback Arcades. And we're going to handle some of our woods playing Neo, <laughs> Neo Turf Masters uh, on the four-player upright arcade. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Now, if you guys like Golden Tea, I think you'll enjoy this uh, game. We're going to play the, the German. His name's like Adolf Golfer or something like that. We'll play Australia. It's a fun one. Let me know if you've played this. This game, this game came out in 1996. It's really fun. Really good graphics. Um, it's challenging. Definitely challenging. Uh oh, let's see if we can uh, stripe this one. I think we're good. Oh, look at that. 305. Alright, that's it. We're done. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm done. Game over. Let's see if we can drop this nice and close. Nope. <laughs> Overcooked it. Alright. Pretty good lie. Get in! Oh, almost. Alright, usually it's kind of a bad start for me, but let's see. Let's just sink this thing. Yep. Perfect. And, uh, so, you know, if you first time joining us, a little bit about this machine four players, 32 inch screen, lighted marquee. Uh, the, the joystick panel Sanwa joysticks with a lighted trackball. Um, if, you, if you're not familiar with, with our machines, every one of them comes with a custom wrap. This is the standard design, but you get whatever you get whatever you want it to look like. Um, and uh, you get free shipping. And the coolest thing is, is you don't just get a machine. You get like two free bar stools. We don't have them here so we can film, but two cushion bar stools and a custom handmade neon sign for your game room. So. We're gonna drop some links for you to check that stuff out. And we have a, a special code, uh, family, gives you 10% off. Um, free shipping, you don't have to worry about it, it'll do it automatically. And uh, man, you should see some of the, the machines we just dropped. Ugh, they're beautiful, awesome. And you got your kids jumping up and down for them, you know they're pretty good. Okay, Let's see if I don't overcook this one. That, oh man. Short. Sorry, God, 10 yards. Okay. Just try to get this one nice and soft. Then I hit the flag stick. Okay. <laughs> Meh, that's not great. Just a couple easy approach shots. Very much like my golf game is right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh good. Finally, no wind. I just hit this thing. Oh my god. This one thing about this game that's a little mystifying is uh Get in. Get in! Oh my god! I thought I hit that one plenty good enough, but apparently I didn't. It's alright. Up and down. And lose a shot to par, so that's okay. Probably gonna need to down some John Daly's to make this round go better. Yeah, I got some catching up to do too. Let's see if we can make some make some moves here. Of course, this isn't exactly the easiest one to do it on. What you want to do? Yeah, you really don't probably want to try to drive this thing too far. But now eh, we'll take some we'll take some risks. Yep, uh, that's exactly where I was trying not to hit it. Yep. Looks like I have a clearing. Yeah, we just want to get in the fairway. Now we got a pretty clean approach shot now. 160. No wind. Now I've hit this dead on and it didn't make it, so let's see what happens. 
shot, but... Oh! Look at that! I did it! That was planned. Totally planned. Even <laughs> he's like, okay, I'll take it. Oh yeah, you could drive this one. So, just providing you don't hit something. I want to hit this a little high, just a little, like, yeah, right about there. I want to juice it. <sighs> of course. Not gonna get out, get away with that one. What they say I got 207. Probably need to hit a fade. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not going in. You're taking you're taking a bad number on this one, bro. Yeah, gave that shot back. Yeah, oh no, that's what happens when you can't hit a green. <laughs> I love the... <laughs> Although these guys are coughing up shots too. Okay, this is where I don't try to get too aggressive. Although, all my game planning has kind of gone out the window here. Um, just want to get it on the fairway. There we go. It's a pretty good... It's pretty good... Iron. Yeah. Of course, no one hits a one iron anymore. Okay, I've totally not guessed right on this, so let's see what happens. Oh my god, I hit a green, although <laughs> it's a weird putt now. Oh yeah, it totally went the opposite way I thought it was going to go. Of it though. Well, gotta get some birdies so. though. number. Okay. Seven, yards, R5. Just trying to figure out how, to, how I want to approach this. The th big thing here is you just don't want to get in a bunker and obviously hit it in a hazard, you know, water hazard or something. That's. Like, actually, you know, because then what you want to do is, like, land it right around there. Um, which, this, if I back down a club, it should be fine. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's in the fairway, technically. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was, like, kind of screwed on that one. Let's try to hit it just nice and easy. That should be pretty good. Oh, get up! Okay. Alright. Just got to give it a little extra gas. See if we can ram it on. Oh my god! <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Get in! That would have been like, it would have stopped right on the lip. You'd be like, nah. Unfortunately, these guys aren't pulling away. 180? Okay. Let's see if we have any wind on this one. 190? Okay. Should be pretty good. Let's see. Okay. That's makeable.
Wow! Oh yeah, it's makeable. <laughs> Something it's interesting concept with golf is like if you, the harder you putt a ball, the it, it literally does make like the hole smaller because you know they, it just has it's just less um, you know less forgiving you know. Now we're not gonna drive this one. We're gonna just hit a little little fade. Yep. Just, don't, just want to stay away from that tree because that, that, if you get too close to that, it'll, it'll cause you some problems. All right, this this is against the wind. This should be a pretty good shot. Let's see. We're gonna find out. Ah, oh, it's hard to hold it on that little kidney-shaped kind of mini golf craziness that they have doing. Get in. Finally, man! Ugh! Oh. Bingo! Yeah, bingo. They're bingo! Alright. Gonna have to push. Gonna have to push. Gonna have to take some risks. Uh, 319. Okay. Probably the way to do this is to aim right about there, hit a little bit of a hook. I just want to find the fairway. Yep, didn't aim it far enough right. Okay. And I got a freaking very lie. Okay, this is. And anytime you're in the bunker in this game, it just the ball goes like literally nowhere. It goes like literally nowhere. Get in! Oh come on, dude! Up and downs are great, but I need some breeze. Pretty clear angle to it. Oh, that should be good. It's pin high. Yep. Let's see if we don't lift this one out. Nope. Alright. <laughs> I'm just trying to savor every one. This has been a rough round. Okay, and two strokes. Well, we're giving ourselves a stroke. Everyone will look at it. Okay, so it's on. Oh, man. They keep putting them on these, like, weird little ridges. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna choose this. That might be makeable. That might be makeable. Let's see. Just have to give it a little gas. A little extra. There we go. Making a charge. Making a charge. I did it. So the way we're going to have to play this one is we are going to have to basically go, we're going to have to thread this needle right here. Now I'm going to try to hook it and see if I can um, try to keep it out of the rough because the rough here on this game is just death. It just, you're just not going to get through it. I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be fine. Yeah. Cause if we get something, you know, we can launch over the trees. Like I might be able to hit a fade. Um, just 
just think about this shot here for a minute. What I'm going to do is just aim it a little out, a little, little fade. We're going to hit it high. Just to make sure we don't hit a tree. Ah, just over, overcooked it. Yeah. Got 17 yards. Ugh. Okay. Should be able to get up and down with this. Rain. Just make sure it hits the back of the cup. Yeah. Okay, 306. Now this one's tough because he, here's the thing: it's par four. The, the smart play is to probably lay it up because if I, if you land it anywhere short, you are gonna have a really, really bad time. I know I just switched it to a sandwich, so let's just make sure we don't do that. We don't get it that short. What we want to do is probably hit it like that. Let's see if that works. Yeah, there we go. That's good. I mean, it's par four, plus 100 yards. Nice wedge. Um, no win. Nice. Okay. 93 yards, 100 yard wedgy. Just want to make sure we don't leave it short. Looks like that's going to be okay. Yeah. Let's see what kind of break they give me, though. No? Okay. Oh, Are you kidding me? That's like some mini golf nonsense right there. See that? So, funny story. I used to work at a, uh, a golf course uh, doing maintenance. Um, a three putt. Doing, uh, you know, and one of my duties was cutting a, cutting cups. So I was the guy that rode around, plunged the, you know, the cut, the cup cutter in, pulled it out. And let me tell you something. <laughs> if if I if I cut a cup like that, it'd be fire. On a slope like that, you would you would never be allowed to cut a cup like that. Ugh. That would not be that would be no bueno. The management would not be cool with that. Okay, I'll. That's probably not gonna be. Horrible. Hit it just a tiny bit too far, but it's okay. That's probably a little too risky. There we go. Just need to get it where we can hit the green in regulation. See if we can make a move. Although the, you'll probably notice um, with this game is the holes get harder as you go as you go along. Pretty good. I did it. No, I did it. You messed everything up. This is what we got to be really, really careful of. Got a little bit of wind. Got to make sure we hit it because we left it short and we can't really afford to do that. Okay. <laughs> Not exactly what I planned, but okay. Oh my God. Now I got to go the up and down route. This is going to be fun. I've actually seen cups like this before. Oh no, just stay up. Okay. I gotta do this in two holes. 435. Oh Look at this, guys. Look at this! Okay, what I think I have to do... I'm not aiming it there. We're not doing that. But what I think I have to do is I have to hit a pretty big fade. 
and see if I can thread the needle. Just gonna find out. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, fairway, but behind a bunch of trees. That's where you just pitch it out. Yep, that's about all I could do. <clears throat> now I just have to try to hit this close. Fortunately, it's a short iron. I mean, this is sort of ridiculous for having, like, all that... I don't know any golf course that has that kind of trees in it, but... Let's see. Okay, that's... That's makeable. It's very makeable. Wow. Yeah, I would throw my club, too. Oh my god, that is a ridiculous hole. Like, you hit the fairway and you're stuck behind a tree. I, I, there was a, a course I played in high school that was like that. They, they did have a tree in the middle of the fairway. It was just awful. Like, everyone just was just not happy with that. They were just like, really? Come on, guys. You're, you're put, you're, like, you're punishing us for hitting the fairway. Ah. But at least the f there's a lot of, you know, a lot of real estate in front of me that's clear, which is nice. That's fine. Not ideal, but it'll work. Well, let's see if we can finish strong here. Might be pretty good. Get off the slope. There we go. There we go. All right. It's a good way to finish. So, thank you so much for joining us for a little live demo of Neo Turf Masters. I know you guys love Golden Tea. I think you like this game too. And we will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock Eastern time. And I hope you hope you have a good night. We'll see you then.